Good morning, good morning, uh, saints of God. Minister Teresa Ruth Jones with you today. I just wanted to come on here and uh, pray a prayer of intercession uh, over God's people today and share a couple scriptures with you. Uh, I'm gonna sh- I'm gonna share the scriptures first, and then I'm gonna play a worship song that's been on my heart and that the Lord helped me with earlier. But I want to share something with you. I was thinking about Stephen, and the Word of God says specifically that Stephen was a man full of the Holy Ghost. And uh, in this hour, in this day, we need to be full of the Holy Ghost. Um, I'm going to go to Romans chapter 5 in the name of Jesus. Romans chapter 5, and I'm going to verse 5. And it says, Hope maketh not ashamed, because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost. The love of God, not our love, not our fleshly love, not our love that has limits, but the love of God to love like we're supposed to love is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost which is given unto us. You know, I was thinking this morning about Stephen, how Stephen began to tell people truth. They didn't want to hear it. And so they wanted to shut him up. So they began to kill him. They began to stone him. And as they're stoning him, he's interceding for them. I don't know if he knew there was a Paul in that group or not. But the love of God that he had and the pureness of his heart helped him to pray uh, for those in that crowd that day whom one of them was Saul who God made a Paul. So when you pray for people, uh, you pray for everyone uh, that God leads you to pray for. Uh, Pray that God open their eyes. Pray that uh, God calls them to see truth. Uh, No doubt, Paul never stopped hearing Stephen's prayers of intercession for those that were killing him. No doubt it uh, probably pushed Paul and carried Paul the love that Stephen had for his God and probably uh, was a great uh, piece in in uh, shaping and keeping Paul uh, to the place where he, he could love those who were unlovable. I want to read one more scripture, and it is in the book of James. Uh, well, actually, uh, I'm going to start. It's James 5. I'm going to start at verse 14. Is there any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. we got to get back to God's order. Is there any sick? sick among you let him call for the elders of the church it's not talking about the elderly people it's talking about those that are rooted and grounded in god and have a life of fruit to back it up call for those solid saints that have a prayer life and a relationship with god and let them pray over him anointing him with oil in the name of the lord And the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up. And if he committed sins, they shall be forgiven of him. Wow, what a powerful, powerful scripture. Confess your faults one to another and pray one for another that ye may be healed. For the effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much that means it works 
there's an answer. There's a moving. There's a change. When the effective, fervent prayer, it said fervent, serious, touching the throne room of God, prayer moves things. It changes things. Elias was a man subject to like passions as we are, meaning he was just a man that loved his God and believed his God. And he prayed earnestly. Did you hear that? Earnestly that it may not, that it might not rain. And it rained not on the earth for the space of three years and six months. And he prayed again and the heavens gave rain and the earth brought forth her fruit. Saints, we have power with God in our prayers. The only prayer that cannot be answered is the prayer that's never prayed. Saints, we need to intercede like never before. When I get through, uh, I'm going to pray for you. But there's a song that's on my heart that I want to sing. Saints, listen, we need to get into the presence of the Lord and worship Him. Just be sincere. Just go all in and God will meet you there. I need you, Lord, more than yesterday. I need you, Lord, more than words can say. I need you, Lord, more than ever before. I need you, Lord. I need you, Lord. I love you more. More than yesterday, I love you more. More than words can say, I love you, Lord. More than ever. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. Sing it with me. Just tell the Lord you love him and you need him. I need you, Lord. More than yesterday, I need you.
Lord, I lift my brother and my sister up before you today, God. Lord, undo the heavy burdens, oh God. God, move in their hearts today, God. Open their eyes to see you clearer, God. Lord, I cry out, God, that whatever is hindering them, Lord, from being all in with you in relationship, God, remove it. Father, I ask you, God, to break the yokes and the chains of the enemy, God. God, every addiction, oh God, break the yokes and break the chains of it, Lord, that it has no hold on your people, God. No hold. Break those chains and let those chains of addiction fall, God. Every Every chain, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Move by your power, God, and break every yoke, God, and every chain, Lord. And set the captive free, God. Set the captive free, oh God. Lord, touch the hearts and the minds and the eyes of your people to see you high and lifted up and understand the hour is critical, Lord. That if we're going to be saved, we're going to have to turn around and repent and turn from our wicked ways, oh God, and turn unto you, Lord. God, and to go all in serving you in daily relationship, in prayer, in fasting, in the word of God, in praying in the Holy Ghost, and keeping our eyes stayed on you, God. I pray for my brother. I pray for my sister that may be struggling today in their walk. God, touch them, encourage them, and lift them up, strengthen them. God, those that are weak, God, those that, Lord, are trying, those that, Lord, have the enemy against them, and they just need a breakthrough. God, give them a breakthrough today, God. Lord, those that have physical needs of rent, and God, light bills, and and 
just food and, and just different necessities and places to stay and vehicles. God, I'm asking you to open up the windows of heaven and provide for them today, God. Lord, out of the east and the west and the north and the south and from above and below, God. Lord, every way, God, rebuke the devourer, God. Oh, God, rebuke the devourer, Lord Jesus. Lord, you have kingdom bread for your people, God. Lord, I'm asking you to cover your people with the fence of your word. Oh, my God, I'm asking you. God, to encamp and dispatch your angels around about your people. God, I'm asking you, God, to put a firewall according to Zechariah 2 and 5. You said, I will be a wall of fire round about her and the glory in the midst of her. Oh, God, you said the effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man or woman shall availeth much. Oh, God, you said when the enemy comes in like a flood, you would lift up a standard against our enemy, God, that you would fight against the enemy, God. We are not to fight people, God, but we are to place them in your hands. And Lord, let you fight our battles. God, we are to love and we are to pray. And God, we are to stand upon your word knowing you are faithful, God. You have given us power over all power of the enemy and nothing by any means shall harm us. Lord, you said when our enemy come at us one way, that Lord Jesus, you would make him flee seven ways. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Oh, God, your word is powerful, and no weapon formed against God's people shall prosper. And every tongue that rise against us in judgment thou shalt condemn. For this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord, I shall repay. Oh God, your people need you today, God. Don't forget about your people, God. Oh, God, we live in a wicked and a perverse world, God. Don't forget about your people, God. Remember your people, oh, God. Remember your people, Jesus. Stand up for us, Lord. Stand up for us, Lord. Fight for us, oh, God. Lord, keep us. Lord, open our eyes. God, give us a revelation of your word, God. Lord, keep us close to you. Whatever that takes, oh God, keep us close to you, Father. We need you in this hour, oh God. We need you, Lord. Oh God, your people need you, God. Lord, work miracles for the widows that are widows indeed. God, the church is not taking care of your people like they should. God, I'm asking you, but it has to be a stranger, God. If the church won't step up and do what they're supposed to do, God, I'm asking you to cause favor. I'm asking you, Lord, to cause people to give unto those, God that carry your gospel message and that are true, whether they're in Africa like the Tuckers, or whether they're wherever they are, those that are true for you, God, that is good ground, that are pure, that are fasting and praying and interceding. I'm asking you to open the windows of heaven, that there's no lack and no need, that we can go, oh God. I'm asking you to touch the bodies of your people, God. 
healing, Lord. Your people need heal inside out, in their minds, in their hearts, in their bodies, God. Let your healing virtue flow, oh God. You are still healer. You are still miracle worker. You are still Red Sea Parter, God. I worship you in the beauty of holiness. Oh, God, I love your holiness. I worship you, God. You are worthy of the praise. I magnify you. I thank you for every miracle. I thank you for every sign and wonder, oh God, that points people back to you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for giving your people a mind to go all in and to stand for true holiness. God, holiness starts on the inside when we receive the Holy Ghost. Oh God, and when we fall in love with you, nothing you ask is too hard. It's not unreasonable, Lord, for you to ask us to have a holy mind and a holy heart and a holy walk before you. I love your holiness. I love you, God. God calls some Hebrew boys and girls, Lord, like they did in that day. When the crowd was bowing, God, they stood, knowing it even may cost them their life. They stood, oh God, call some more like that with the boldness to stand in the face of this wicked world and stand yet holy before you, God. God calls some Daniels, God, that even though they try to shut them up, God, that they'll fling that window open and pray again, Lord. God calls some Abrahams that though it don't make sense, when you speak, they will go and not question it, Lord. Lord, we need some Josiahs. God, raise up some Josiahs, oh God, that will come in and clean the house. Uh, and will be jealous for your holy ways, oh God. We need some Nehemiahs, oh God. Lord, that will fast and pray, oh God, and build, oh God. We need some Josephs, Lord, that are sustainers of your people, God, so they can go and so they can work and do their ministry, Lord. Oh, God, we need some Elijahs, oh God, and some Joshua's. Lord, you said that wheresoever the foot of our, uh, the bottom of our foot shall fall, God, you would give it to us, Lord dominion and power and authority, God. We need some faithful people to stand up and represent you and represent you well, whether it's in a family, a home, a city, a church. You may feel like you're the only one, but I am with you, saith the Lord. I will help you stand. I will stand with you. I will put my words in your mouth, saith the Lord. If you will stand for me, I will stand for you. Lord, push back the enemy, God. Push back the enemy. Push back the darkness, O God. Destroy every work of the enemy. Let not evil come nigh our dwelling. Bless our going out and our coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. God, and prepare the path. Order the steps of your people. Place us where we belong, God, and bring your people together in unity. Oh, God, bring your people together in unity. Oh, God, oh, God, we need each other, Lord. Oh, God, bring your remnant together, those that are sold out for you, God. 
Let us be, Lord, intercessors for one another, God. Raise up the intercessors, God, to open their mouth and to go all in. Raise up the watchmen, God, that will be true, God. The watchmen shall see eye to eye, not only with each other, but with God. They will hear from God. They will give direction from God. Oh, Father, I'm asking you to put a dome of protection around your people. Oh, God, help your people to stand. Help your people, God. Oh, encourage your people. God, those devils, those uh, spirits of witchcraft, those spirits of Jezebel, those demonic forces from hell, God, that are coming against your people, not only when they're awake, but when they're asleep, God. The enemy is sneaky and he don't play fair, God. But God, I'm asking you to drive out the enemy, God, to push back the enemy, to put your firewall between your people and the enemy, God. And don't let the enemy, do not let the enemy stand before your people in his ugly pride. Dethrone him, O oh God, in Jesus' name. And God, keep and order our steps, O oh God, I pray, in the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord, put your love in our heart because our love has limits, God. But your love has no limits, oh God. Your love has no limits, oh God. Your love will cause a Stephen to pray for those that are stoning him because he's full of the Holy Ghost. Oh God, help your people. I'm, I'm praying once again, help your people today. Lord, Answer prayer. Answer prayer, God. You're our only hope. You're our only strength. You're our only lifeline. And Lord, we can't fight against these things, God, that are being unleashed in this wicked, wicked world. We can't fight them without you, God. We can't fight them without the Holy Ghost. We can't fight them without having on the whole armor, God. I pray for my brother. Encourage him. Encourage him to be pure and holy and Lord to lift you up and to treat his wife right, God. And I pray for the women, God, that they will be godly women. Oh God, humble. Heirs of light and work together, bring the husbands and wives together. God, I feel to pray for marriages. The enemy hates godly marriages, especially ministers that minister together. Oh God, I'm asking you to assign your angels and to fight against the enemy and drive out the enemy. God, and cover the holy marriages. Make those three cords one in you, oh God. God, and protect the godly marriages, holy marriages, God, marriages ordained by you that the enemy is trying to destroy. I command Satan to be pushed back by the power and authority of the name of Jesus Christ. Loose God's people. Let them go in the name of Jesus. Be driven back by the power and authority of the name of Jesus Christ off of marriages and families and ministries in the name of Jesus. Release God provision. Open the windows of heaven, God, for every need that your people have and help us to be good stewards of what you give us, Lord. We give you praise. God, I ask one more thing before I go. God, I'm asking you to cause your people's eyes to be open. That you are righteous and holy and a just judge, a righteous judge. 
Oh God, and that you cause them to see you high and lifted up and see what a great and powerful and wonderful and fearful God you are. And that you, Lord, have all power and authority, God, and we can trust in you. We can put our hope in you and we can cling to you, God, and you will stand with us, Lord. I ask you to bless my brothers and sisters, God. I ask you to bless the remnant. I ask you to keep them all the days of their lives, oh God, and let them go all in for serving you. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Saints, pray for one for another. Pray one for another. Oh God, oh God, oh God, we love you, Lord. Saints, we need each other. Saints, if there's ever an hour we need to pray for each other and come together and love each other, it's now. It's now. We need each other. God, bring your people together. Bring your people together. The Lord speaks about unity in the book of Psalms, and he's talking about air, and he said it's like oil that runs down the beard of air. And then it says, for there God commands a blessing. Where is there? In that place of unity. One of the biggest things that Satan fights against God's people is unity and love. He will put thoughts and lies and whispers in your ear about your brother and sister that are not true. They're not true. The enemy will cause confusion. He'll cause you to hate someone that is nothing but for you. Saints, don't allow the enemy to win in this hour. Don't allow the enemy to win. Oh, God, don't let the enemy win. Bring your people together, Lord. In Jesus' name, I pray. Saints, I love you. If you need prayer, contact me. And get in prayer. Saints, we need to be interceding. We need to be praying in this hour. There are some things coming toward this world and that are already here, just ready to be revealed, that you won't be able to stand unless you go all in with the Lord. Make up your mind. It will be the best decision you ever make. No matter what comes or goes, be determined. You're going to live for the Lord. And you're going to go all in. And you're not going to compromise. And you're not going to hover toward the line. But you're going to go all in. Because when you go all in for the Lord, He goes all in for you. I love you very much. Pray for Minister um, uh Jones, my husband, and myself, we're hoping to go on a trip this next week and uh, just pray for us that God would order our steps and that we'll be effective for the kingdom of God in this hour. That's our heart's desire, just to go, just to go and just to, we desire to be somewhere where we can make a difference in this place where we are. It was a hiding place, a making place, but we're wanting the Lord to order our steps and make provision for us to be where he wants us to be. So please pray with us in that. We love you all greatly. Don't hesitate. I don't care if you're friends with me on Facebook or whatever. Don't hesitate if you need prayer to contact me. Sometimes I don't get my messages in messenger but if you'll put it out there under one of my posts that you're trying to contact me i will private message you my phone number or it's out there it's out there on our tracks my number is out there i love you guys please please uh make sure your house is in order pray about everything you do i love you much in the lord god bless you